Okay, I'm testing the blue comet and trains a new era, and so far it actually seems to be pretty error free. Except for, of course, the problem with the steam sounds disappear. Okay, let's see what it looks like inside the cab. Uh, just an ordinary generic steam cab. Okay, we got the throttle, the reverser, the brakes. That's interesting, the speedometer goes up to 110. Can it really go that fast? Well, I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Let's see what the horn sounds like. Well, it's not a, it's not perfectly looped, but it is still pretty good. Let's see what the bell sounds like. You got to be kidding me. You know, I have a list of the of uh, my least favorite bells and horns on this game this bell is on the top of that list I cannot believe I spent money on a locomotive that uses this bell that's ridiculous you can go inside each of the passenger cars in this in this blue comet um, train I don't think it's safe to stick your head out the window. Here we have a passenger car. I think the other one was a combine. Okay, you're sticking your head out a little bit too far. Like, if you could get hit by something at this distance. Or fall out. Of course, you can edit the interior and give it more camera options later on if you wanted to. This one's my favorite, the dining car. Not only can you sit at the table, but you can also go inside the kitchen. I already tried, but you cannot read what's on the table. It's not legible. Sadly. Wow, this is very high detailed. Look at that, there's even a pot on the stove, though there's no food in it. That's actually a fire hazard if the stove is on. This is the observation car, obviously. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. You can't st you can't go outside this one, but of course you can edit the interior later to allow you to do that.
Is it just me, or is the locomotive black from the inside, even though it's blue on the outside? That's the that's the weird thing about these interiors. Sometimes they're not the correct color. You can barely see out the window. If there was a person standing on the tracks, there's no way I'd be able to see them. <laughs> Seriously, this is this this would probably smell really bad right now. All this smoke pouring right into the window. But I must say, it's very realistic going inside this tunnel. Judging by how these cars keep rocking back and forth, I'm guessing this was not a comfortable train. <laughs> Okay, this would really spoil my appetite. <laughs> I do not want to be smelling smoke while I'm trying to eat. Also, doesn't that mean this could actually contaminate the food that they're cooking? Of course, in real life, um, they brought this. This train would have actual windows <laughs> that would that wouldn't let the um, steam in.
Well, it's reached a speed of 100 miles per hour. Far, very far away from the 110 miles per hour that the speedometer suggests. So I'm guessing this is its top speed. This is a very nice looking locomotive. I was going to test this locomotive, but it's incredibly unrealistic as far as the, um, the sound of it accelerating. It doesn't really, um, it's not really timed correctly, and um, it basically treats the sounds of the chuffs like a diesel engine sound, and it's dependent on how, uh, on where the throttle is versus, uh, instead of um, how fast the wheels are going. So sometimes it goes, uh, sometimes the sound goes a lot faster than the speed of the train, which really annoys me. In fact, the only reason this locomotive is still in the game is because I really like its whistle. That's that's literally the only reason. Uh, there's really no other reason for it to be here. I don't really use it in any, in any of my routes because of that that the fact that um, the sound is too is too unrealistic. Also, I didn't realize this when I was a kid, but when I was l listening to the whistle recently, I noticed that it wasn't. There was a lot of um, sa there was a lot of um, background noise in it, like clicking sounds or something, Be like um, because it wasn't edited correctly. The sound.